What's up guys? Today I've got a quick unboxing of these mini mystery fishing tackle kits by Mystery Tackle Box. Picked these up at Walmart when I was there the other day, just happened to see them as I was going by. And they only had box number two and three, so I figured I'd pick up both, do a little compare and contrast video for you guys. Um, the reason I picked up both is I was originally gonna get number three here, and I picked up number two, and this is about twice as heavy as the number three box, so I'm curious as to as to what's in each, but um, if you guys don't know, this is Mystery Tackle Box. I'm sure you guys are familiar. They do all sorts of mystery boxes. They have 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to $100 boxes, and they do all sorts of, got all sorts of good stuff inside of them, and so I'm curious to see what's in these little boxes. These are nine, <clears throat> excuse me, $9.99 a box. Um, not sure what the value you're supposed to get inside is. Um, I don't think it says, but it's kind of a general panfish slash bass kit, I believe, from the front of the box. So without further ado, let's tear into one of them here and see what we've got going on. I'm just going to open it from the bottom. Looks easier to get in. Cut that tape and see what's in here. All right. Right off the bat, I see some soft plastics. Let's see, is that everything? That's it in the box. Set that off to the side. So right up front, we got some Z-Man. The Elastec, these are really, really nice. Those Smoky Shad, kind of like a uh, Guggen Dart or... Sorry guys, dog started making a bunch of noise there. Um, like I was saying, just kind of like a minnow uh, representation here. Real nice color, that kind of silver gray. Would work in about any water there, so that's good. That'd be nice for some bass fishing. And then we got kind of a mystery bag here. I guess, suppose not, says on the front. Headbanger, the banger lizard. Let's crack those open. Sorry, I'm looking through the camera here. Pull one of those out. Oh, nice, kind of a, uh, just creature bait here. Nice little uh, kind of craw representation. That'd be great for a trailer behind a jig. Um, good color on that too, kind of a pumpkin red, but looks real nice. Let's see what else we got in here. Carl's Amazing Baits. This is kind of a mini brush hog looking type bait. I'm gonna pull one of these out here as well. Let's see. Yeah, nice mini brush hog. Let's see, these have a name on them. The Gator Hog, 3.75 inch, and blue craw. That green pumpkin with that blue on the back, it's a really, really good color. Actually, it gets kind of a different presentation from what bass are used to seeing, and that's a really good color in most places. And then let's see, we got a little card going over on this side, it's what's in there. If you wanna pause and read over that. Backside gives you some, <clears throat> excuse me, rigging tips. Texas rig, drop shot, wacky rig. Some kind of basic stuff there, but always super helpful for those newer anglers. And ooh, super cool sticker. Catch Co. Like that a lot. Very cool. All right. Let's see what's in this number three box. I'm curious because this one is very lightweight. I'm almost thinking it's probably a terminal tackle or maybe hooks and who knows, but I'm curious. Dump her out there. All right. Get everything out of there. Cool. Up first we got, let's see. Sorry, my dog's crying in the background here. A little, what do they call those, kind of rooster tail spinner here. One eighth ounce. That is nice, nice bright color. Be good for early spawn season. That kind of reddish orange usually is a good kind of, uh, what do you want to say, kind of craw representation. And let's see. Let me see, I got to take this off camera and take a peek here. It's kind of a mini spinner bait beetle spin style bait here looks really nice rig and ready holographic colors sorry got a heavy reflection on there but yeah that'd be good for that'd be really good for crappie fishing i think or i mean a lot of people think that you need specific baits for specific fish which to an extent you do but um for the longest time in high school i fished with only crappie jigs like small jig heads and little curly tail grubs for bass and it worked I mean, great. Obviously, now I don't need more, but every once in a while, I go back and just use those crappie jigs, and then you catch a little bit of everything, kind of livens up the action a little bit. Speaking of which, here we got some more crappie jigs. These are the kind of tied style ones. See if we can get that focus there. Kind of got that feather with the tie wrap around there. But very nice, all white color. Always a fantastic As color. As 
a good color about everywhere you go. That all white with that silver head be wonderful for for crappie, bluegill, um, and even bass, really. Again, that what's inside, if you wanna take a peek there. And then, oh, got a different card this time. Areas to target, so laydowns, docks, and weeds. It's good, good tips there, like I said with the other one, for a beginner fisherman. Then we got another very cool sticker here, kind of like a voodoo style sticker. Um, very cool, I like that a lot. Um, like I said, these are $9.99 a box. Let me lay out what we got here. Box. This is from box number two. And then a sticker. And then we got, this seemed more of a crappie themed box. The number three. Um, but both, I think you're getting a good value out of either. These are last tech Z-Man plastics. These are, sorry guys, dog is making some noise again. Anyhow, like I was saying, these Z-Man Elastec soft plastics, these I think are five, six bucks a bag. So if you think five bucks there, I'm not sure what Carl's goes for. I think it's around the same, maybe a little cheaper. Four bucks, another four bucks. I mean, you're getting your values worth. Same on this side. Um, it's out of the camera there. Also came in box number three. But I think you are getting your values worth. If it's stuff you're gonna use, obviously it's better for you because then you know you're gonna use it and you're gonna get your money's worth out of it. But that's kind of how these things go. If it's something you're not going to use, and obviously it's not a very good value to you, but I think this is a kind of general enough assortment of soft plastics that either way you're going to get some use out of them or know somebody that will. So um, I'll leave that up to your discretion, whether you think it's a good deal or not. And if you think it is, let me know down below, or even if you think it's not, let me know what you think and why. And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.